Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are back here in our factory where last time we finished up this station and connected it to this copper station via train. And the train obviously has made it back to this particular outpost and is being loaded with copper. Uh, looks like we have a tiny issue over here where we need to add a few power poles uh, along with these guys. So that will be placed whenever we get back there. But in the meantime, we need to hook up this copper to our base. Let's go into map mode so we can just press uh, W going upward here and get that sorted. Now, how do we want to route this through here? I wish these were gone, but that's okay. I think we'll just route it this way through this area here next to these power poles. That should be fine. Um, let me just remove that. See if we can get through these cliffs. Yeah. All right. So our nanobots are helping us with some of this work here. And let's see. How do we want to do stuff? Let's go this way. Let's see. Oh, hurry, hurry. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave a tiny gap in the belt for a bit there. Mm, let's take this. Go across here. No, we might have to destroy these cliffs. No. No. Uh. Oh. Ha. Well, there's a better way to do this in any case. These things are... Yeah, we can just delete this. These, this whole thing. Because uh, we can just put it through the, the upper belt there. And with no issue. Alright. Nice. So let's get this going up this way and that one can go in here uh, and I think yeah I think what we're gonna do is technically we didn't have to move that but for clarity okay uh, let's go there and then this one is gonna be priority input from the left input again the belt feeding in from there so let's move that there I don't know if that's needed actually I think it's fine but this needs to be moved a tiny bit there we go. Alrighty. So, looking good so far. Uh, okay. Nice. And this goes there. And alright. Perfect. Excellent. Now then, we can take... Ah, yes. Okay. So let's just take this whole belt segment down this way. Oh, oh, we may have a tiny issue. Oh, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. Yep. And then this one is going to go here. And this one there, there, there. Tiny squiggle. And that's okay. There we go. All right. Nice. It's always nice to go around our cliffs if we like our cliffs. And we kind of do. They kind of look cool. So, let's see what we've got here. Now then, these belts, these are going to serve a couple of places. First of all, it's going to serve our green circuit factories. And the next part it's going to serve is this over here. And we might need to kind of route these to the right. I'm thinking we may even need to remove this section here. Um... Yeah, we might have to move that around so that we can get the copper here. I don't know how much copper we're going to need. This has been an interesting base to, to work with. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see how much we need. Before we route that, I want to get our furnaces being made. I did notice that uh, those were kind of stagnating in the upgrade planner mode. So I want to find our furnaces and... Oh, okay. So this is the issue here. We have just too much stone. Somehow it got contaminated and this wasn't getting any bricks. So this should start producing these furnaces momentarily, which is great. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, bots. We appreciate your help. Much, much appreciated. Great. Yes. Thank you. Good, good. Okay. Now then. What we can do here is, uh, I would like to, yeah, we want to get these, these things going. And in reality, we can make this an upgraded line. So when we have these furnaces, this means that we can support red belts. If all of these are steel furnaces, you see, that's why the copper, even though it's mostly full, 
it's not getting even near past half. It's because these guys are operating at twice the speed. So this whole thing can be improved to red belts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from, let's see, yellow, um, yellow, and yellow to red. I don't want it to upgrade the inserters and stuff like that. I really wish that wasn't a default thing that it did um, because I don't like having to, yeah, this. So let's go ahead and upgrade these guys and the lines feeding them. It is going to upgrade the coal, which is not needed at all, but it's okay. It doesn't really hurt, so it's just fine. Now then, we're going to upgrade these pieces. We're not going to upgrade the line to the right because that's not necessary. Um, we'll have to see about fixing the the uh, iron line, but we're just upgrading it just for funsies right now, because at the moment we are not getting enough iron. Uh, we're not supplying enough iron to support a red belt. We might actually do that because these guys that come from the train station can certainly deliver plenty of iron. Uh, okay, so I think what I do want to do is create a second column for making the... Um, the, the, the copper things for green circuits because when we look up here the issue for science and this is what's what we're really being held up by is that we're not getting any blue circuits oh and here we need lights over here I think let's just put some lights down lights lights no no okay it's fine uh yeah I forgot to shift I thought I thought it's already in ghost mode so I wouldn't need to shift click it but it was not that was my mistake and they should get lights placed over there. Now, over here, I'm going to... I think I can just copy the entire thing. And it will copy the upgraded thingy majingies in there. So hopefully that will work. Ah, uh, no, it won't. It'll actually copy the old stuff. So I think I'm going to go into my blueprint library. Uh, which these guys, we built them and they do... Uh, I have made blueprints for them. So basically we did make them in this game. But let's see. We have smelting, steel furnaces, okay, um, and then we need to go, which side are we going? This one is going down, so if we rotate this in our minds, this is what we get. Why are they having blue inserters? Oh no. Yeah, I think what I did is I used the upgrade planner and that's what happened. Ah, oh, bad me, bad me. All right, well, I'll have to fix that because we don't need the blue inserters. It is completely not needed. Okay, so then. Let's see what we can do with this. Hmm, it's going right by this area. And I think what we want to do is just move this one to the third. Oopsies. To the third column instead of the second. So let's see, we can do this. And then, oopsies, no, I'm using the wrong kind of belt. Actually, no, 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 we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I do want to move, I think I want to get some red belts in my inventory because it's kind of a nice thing to have. Let's have, I don't know, 200 or so. Oopsies, there we go. Hey, okay. and we do have uh, plenty of the other things as well. But that will enable us to get this stuff going. Um, oh, oh, but we have, oh no, 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 nope, I'm going to delete this entire thing because the, um, the issue is this thing. We designed these to work in our factory where this, uh, output is on the other side of the splitter and this is, yeah, kind of messed up. I guess we could just delete this part of it, but I think what I want to do here is let's downgrade all of these blue inserters to to yellow and it looks like I need to fix my blueprints in my uh, blueprint drive uh, yeah I hate doing that <laughs> it's annoying <laughs> but it'll be fine I'll suffer onward it'll be okay all right let's just delete all these bits and pieces there and um, we'll get this sorted out somehow where okay let's just copy this part of the build there we go and we also need to connect our oh hold on is it there there it is okay that's what matches up there all right and take that off and go as far as we can with that and that can be a yellow belt that's not not relevant at all okay 
So let's get this going that way, and then that one goes this way. Okay, that's just fine. So let's see. This is supposed to go out a different way now. Go here. And I think what I want to do is I'll have one going on one side and one going on the other side instead of splitting. I think that's probably a decent solution. So oopsies, let's get this one. Red belt. Okay, cat, you're not supposed to drink coffee. That's not good for cats. Oh, she's actually just sniffing it, but she is batting at the flying robots. Good cat. Good cat. You know where those robots are. Go for it, my girl. All right. Good, good. And we might need to upgrade this belt as well, but one thing at a time. Let's get the copper hooked up so that the production can start going on. All right. And then this can be there. Yes. Nice. Looks good. Okay. And then this thing is going to come from here. All right. So we have two things here. We have one thing needing to be filled with red, uh, with a red belt full of copper. This one is a yellow belt coming in, but we need to upgrade that here to be red. Now yellow can come in from the side. That's not an issue, but we need to make it. Oh, okay, cat. Here you go. Cat wanting to go into her woolly house. Where she promptly deflates by standing on it. No, it's a uh, little um house made out of wool literally oh that could have been yellow um okay and let's get this going there okay so now i think what i want to do is we can do a couple of things here um we could combine two and two to make one and one belt of red because two yellows equals one red or what's better i think is to make these red belts all the way along so that some red belts can go in this direction as well so that's what we're going to end up doing here with these guys. Is actually I'm not going to I'm not going to walk all the way down there. That's why we have map mode. Hooray. That's what map mode is for. All right, and then we're going to just make all of these red belts as well. The whole thing needs to be red belts in order to get that amount of throughput out. Uh is this Yeah. Oh, it is. All right. Nice. Oh, apparently that is too now. It's fine. All right, let's get this moving. So this one, I think we're going to go here and just go to this one. And then this one's going to come over from here to this one. Okay, my cat is licking my hand. Yeah, this is not conducive to, you know, gameplay, my cat. Please don't. Okay, so here we want to do an input priority from the right, meaning that we're going to use up this stuff from the old eye or the old copper mine first. And then it's going to come in here. Oh, but this is so exciting soon we shall have stuffs and things so these guys are going slowly because it's coming via yellow belt you can see the tiny gaps between uh the stuff uh, but here is what it looks like when it's compressed so this is gappy this is compressed all right so green circuits now all of this is gonna get better and better as we go along and okay what we need to do with this is remove this and this is gonna be one red belt which we need to upgrade along the line here okay let's go there and grab that and the robots can do most of this for us there we go we just have a little tiny gap there and now we're going to upgrade the green circuit belt either we upgrade it or we make it two belts and for now i think upgrading it is a better solution because um, one of the things is on the bus yeah you can make more belts and it's cheaper to make a second yellow belt however you also have to do a lot of annoying things like if you didn't plan your bus properly and you have lines going across like if you didn't do an undergroundy there and you would still have to do gap you would still like have to do the undergroundies here you would also have to do an undergroundy if you had a parallel green belt so there's a lot of work involved in not upgrading and, and having the second belt if you didn't do it beforehand so Anyway, let's go ahead and do this from map mode. Uh, and we'll just go all the way up. Oh, this is so nice. Look at that. Just easy peasy. Boom. Done. 
Excellent. Oh, and we have an issue over here with the low density thingy-majingies. Let's go and fix that too. Because we want the science to be flowing. Yes. All right. And one thing that I wanted to get is artillery. So I'm going to get rid of the personal robo stuff and get artillery after this thing. Actually, let's start research on tanks. Uh, because this is not, you know, the, not much yellow. So we're going to get our logistics system soon, but I want to get logistics first and then we're going to get artillery. So let's just get rid of this. Where's our little chests? We keep doing this, but yeah, it's a thing. All right. And then artillery after that. Okay, great. So let's go and fix that one belt over for the low density structures that only really impacts personal uh, equipment, which we don't actually have much of. That is over here. It is in the mall, which I don't think we've researched much of it yet. So, yeah. Anyway, what is our power looking like? I want to see this. Oh, dear. We have no power. Hmm. Yeah, this means we have a lack of power. It's not getting satisfied up to 100%. There's a couple of things we can do for this. The easiest thing would probably be, oh, oh, we're having a bit of an issue. Yes, I just was reading on the Factorio cheat sheet that a yellow belt is only enough to satisfy 34 uh, of these boilers. So we need to upgrade this belt. So let's do that. I don't know if we have robot coverage. Yeah, we do. Nice. We got robot coverage over here. So let's just do this for the first few. We are also going to have to change these inserters because when you when you upgrade to a red belt on these guys, they no longer function. They can't grab the coal fast enough. So the coal just whizzes by. So let's change that. So let's go from, let's delete the inserters for now and we'll go from uh, burners to fast. Uh, even yellow inserters can't keep up with red belts very well. So we'll just upgrade those to electric inserters, which means we also need electrical power poles here. So we'll just add those for those sections. And these guys will just be the burners using up that coal there. Okay, so um, that's, that's pretty decent. That means we're going to get enough stuff over there. It looks like these guys are getting plenty of fuel. Wow, this is, yeah, this is kind of ending. The coal's ending from here. We may need to, oh no, we have a red belt, so that should be just fine. I think we're fine over here. And the other thing that we can start doing is if we get enough solid fuel, and I don't know how much we have over here. We have a ton. Oh, we have tons. Okay, cool. And um, that can actually go into our factory and start feeding these power plants. I think as a temporary solution, and it is very temporary, we're going to get nuclear going soon. Um, what I would like to do is just build another power plant column. So let's see if we can do that. Just, oh, oh, no, oh, no, this is like a trap over here, this cliff. Even though, yeah, it's just, it's part of the landscape though. <laughs> All right, let's grab some iron, lots of iron off the line here and... Build. What are we missing here? We're missing... Oh, no. No! Ah! Look at this. We're going to turn off personal logistics so we can build these things. Nice. Okay, so... Let's see. Here's 21. So let's just minus one from that. We need 40 of those. We're going to build a full column, I think. Uh, okay. And then we need our boilers, which we need some stone furnaces for that. I think they're in our chests here somewhere. There we go. So we're going to make 20 of those. Where are they? Where are you? Hello. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Uh, all right. We need a few. We, we need more? Really? Okay. I don't know. Let's get more iron. I think it's iron. It's all iron. There we go. So 5, 10, 15, 20. And then we need another 20 of these. Uh, but we can also grab some pipes. I kind of forgot to grab all the pipes. So we're handcrafting a lot of pipes. Which is a bit silly. We shouldn't be handcrafting pipes at all. But that's okay. Alright, these guys. We still need more iron. Oh, we need gears. Maybe we should grab some gears from the line here. 
that will help us quite a bit. All right, so 5, 10, 15, 20. And that's good. I think we'll get our 20 burner inserters. 5, 10, 15, 20. And we're going to craft a few more gears, but that's okay. All right, and I think I'm going to turn back on the personal logistics. And that will get rid of the extra pipes. And it should get rid of these guys. Apparently I haven't listed these guys though yet. Let's put that to zero. Hooray. If you're wondering, I don't know if the mic is picking up that noise, but my cat is playing with a couple of things in the background and it sounds a tiny bit noisy. So I apologize if that is disturbing anyone, but she's having a great time. Uh, all right, so let's get rid of this. We're not going to need much more than this. Okay, so let's copy this array here. Okay, and then we're gonna leave this I guess you can, you can put them back to back, but I'm going to keep a gap between them for now. Oh, I don't know if we have any power poles. Oh dear. That could be, that could be embarrassing. Like if we don't have enough. And I'm going to leave this at a yellow belt because this is just going to be one array. That's weird. That it like upgraded miscellaneous things here and there. That's funky. How? Why? Okay. And we're just lacking the burner inserters. So... Let's go and place those over here. All right. How did this get so sloppy? Jeez. Oh, I must have misclicked or something. It's a bit silly. Oh, well, whatever. It's okay. All right. And then let's get this thing to connect to a large power pole. And then we'll just have another connection there and here to connect from there. Now then. It looks like, oh yeah, we need to, okay, that should get us full coal flowing through there. And then we should be able to get this stuff over here and get a decent amount of coal in. All right, so that should work. And according to the Factorio cheat sheet, one red belt can serve 67 uh, boilers. No, furnaces, not, oh my god, these things. The boilers, 67 boilers. We now have, let's count, let's see how many boilers we got. We have 60, all right. So, but remember, it is sharing with some of these furnace, uh, furnace assemblies, so it's kind of like, eh, I don't know. So I think what I want to do is, I actually want to get that solid fuel down here and feed these guys with solid fuel instead of coal because coal is better used in making plastic and grenades and some other stuff that um yeah we, we need to to use so let's just go ahead and put a belt here for solid fuel and we'll just feed that for now we are actually going to transition very quickly into um into nuclear stuff as soon as we get that done but of course the getting it done is the <laughs> the difficult bit so we're going to connect this and remember that solid fuel has a greater megajoule value than coal does can we look at that in our thingamajingy here i don't know can we see solid fuel oh cat please don't eat that no 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 that's not for you no twist ties are not tasty oh okay um, according to this, I, I don't see it in the game at the moment, but if you have it in your inventory, it will tell you. So solid fuel has a value of 12 megajoules compared to coal is four megajoules. So that's a huge, huge difference. So what I want to do is I think I'm just going to take this down here and we're going to put this right before this split. So we're going to add this and we're going to say input priority from the left so it's going to prioritize the solid fuel going into these assemblies here and it's going to give greater megajoule value we're going to use less coal from the mine and things are going to be better generally okay so how are we doing wow look at the green circuits they are backing up this is amazing we are we're doing well except for that we're not making enough of them are we how many of these do we have two yeah so the bots are still delivering they're still placing stuff down here how are we doing in blue circuit land hello blue circuit land yes okay we're getting a few more not a lot more but it looks like we are using a lot of these in various places let's see 
But mainly, I think it's just the belt slowdown. Yeah, it is. Because it's basically cutting the throughput in half with the belt issues there. I think I'll walk along and let my bots place them because that's slowing down the whole factory. There we go. All right, at least up until blue circuits. Oh, but we do see a few on the line. That is good. That's good progress there. Okay, there we are. There's red circuits and blue circuits. I think the bots might have been giving the red belts to me, in fact. There we go. All right. Yay. Yay. Hooray. Yeah, they might have been actually prioritizing my request. So, whoops. Hello. Nanobots, you sleeping on the job or what? Oh, I didn't see that one. Okay. I trusted you, nanobots. I trusted you. Why? Okay. So this is fabulous. Like, this is literally fabulous. What's happening here is... And look. Look at this. This is before and this is after. And this, my friends, is where we're going to get plenty of blue circuits being made here. Oh, this is fantastic. All right. So we got this going. Logistics system is actually getting researched now before we've had all kinds of delays for this. We can check out. Oh, we didn't hook up the power, did we? Nope, nope, nope. We need water. I completely forgot about the water part. So power, let's let's do our to-do list, which I'm really bad at doing. I don't know if anyone noticed that. Um, yeah, already done. <laughs> okay, add new. Um, nuclear power. Okay, save. Add new. Purple science. And I think we're going to end up doing purple science before nuclear power. Because now that we're going to have more of the this power. This power that I can't remember the name of. Regular. Yeah, kind of like coal power. Steam engines. That's what they're called. Okay, let's build one of those. Hello? Where are you? I know it must be here somewhere. Why is it so hard to find the offshore pump? I don't know what it is. Uh, here it is. Wait, where is that? No, 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 come back, come back. This thing. Okay. It's by the drills. Interesting. Okay, sure. Whatever. Uh, that will get put there and get our underflowies. Connecting this way. Hooray. All right, and water. Now we have production. Okay. You can see our little power is going to jump up like crazy as we are needing it. And now we have enough production-ish. All right. Happy days are here again. We can see that a little bit of coal is being used. But most of all, where that coal is going to be fed to the um, to these assemblies over here. Now, do we want to... Do we care about this? Is there enough copper reaching the end of the line? That's what we need to look at. Yes, there's plenty of copper at the end of the line here. Not as many green circuits as I would have liked. We need some more production of those. But I think it's enough to get the logistics system thing done. I think it should be okay-ish. Um, instead, I would rather go ahead and make the purple science because that will complete our science loadout and we'll be able to research anything, even if it's a tiny bit slow. So I'm not really worried about that. And while that is happening, um, the, um, the science will keep on ticking on and we can build more production. Okay, let's go and build some purple science. I feel like I should build the walkway out that way. It's like, no, help. Cliffs. Oh. I don't know why I get romantic about cliffs and stuff. And shorelines and things. I guess it make, it gives character to the game. You know, like not, not plowing over every single thing uh, in the world. Okay, so we're going to look at the thing. The thing being the factorial calculator. Now, I think I might have miscalculated on these. Somebody brought this to my attention and I appreciate that. So what I've been doing, I have been specifically using the assembly machine one uh, for the purpose of calculating items per second because it has an easier ratio of a 0.5 crafting speed instead of 0.75. However, when we were making yellow science, 
Uh, some of the machines require, like blue chips, require these assembly machine twos, uh, including also the engines. But I believe we went off of this number here, the 6.7, but let's check just in case here. So we are making the electric engines making the flying robot frames 6.7 so we have one two three four five six seven yeah so i went off of that number um and so this number is going to be fine now blue circuits um it says we need let's see 8.9 but i wanted to have more for the mall so we have more than enough of these guys but yeah just a just a note to keep track of which ones are blue and which ones are the uh gray ones uh, but i did do that on purpose and i did follow the correct number uh, like for example electric engines you only need 4.5 but it is a one-to-one -one ratio between electric and regular engine units so just use the one that fits uh, the thing and the reason we're doing this is because of the easier ratio and because in the beginning of the factory when we have red and green science to make we don't have the blue assembling machines so we kind of have to use the gray one so i base everything on the one item per second via gray machines even though that value is obviously accelerated when we use the blue ones so let's go ahead and go to purple science again one per second to match kind of everything else we have in the factory and this is what we're going to be building here so let me just walk as as we oopsies oh we're already here how nice we use map mode <laughs> gosh <laughs> past kos thought of us how nice uh anyway we're having um 14 machines for purple and feeding those is going to be uh electric furnaces and then we need some modules for this and what is the other thing some of these guys are components of the other bits so let's see what we need. Purple. So we need mod modules, furnaces, and rails. Oh, this is the one with the rails. How nice. So with this one, we're going to be doing, let's see, I hope kind of, uh, why well, we don't have to do a fun thing. Oh no, darn it. But anyway, we just need 0.7 belts of rails. What I like to do is just kind of mix these guys in with the other machines. Um, but we don't actually have to do that. So sad times, but yeah, um, that was one of those that you could mix in and it was kind of fun, but we have, let's see, 3.4, uh, furnace machines and then 10 of these productivity module thingy machines. All right. So that's, that's the numbers we're going to be following. I'll go ahead and turn this off so you can see that part of the screen, but, uh, let's go ahead and make these guys happen and we're going to get just kind of a, uh, copy of this here let's go in purple science there we go and then we're gonna have same kind of uh inputs here like this let's see this way yeah fine that's good and then we'll have our belts coming up okay so let's get these guys going that's two that's four six eight ten twelve and fourteen and we'll go and grab this and we'll have our bots come and help us from the factory here. Did I turn on? Yeah, I turned on the logistics. Nice. All right, we do have a cliff here, but yeah, we'll see what we can do about that. All right, so let's start with the first thing of, let me see, the modules are gonna take 10 assembling machines. So I think that's the one that we should do next. And let's just do these on this side like this. And we'll just make these guys over here. Now, these are level one productivity modules. They need five uh, of each type of circuit or five red and green types of circuits here. So let's bring those this way. And we need several. Let's see. So let's see. Get these guys. Let's see. How long do they take to process? They take 15 seconds. So a yellow inserter is more than enough for this. There we go. We'll take that and grab this and make 10. That's several. Not two, four, six, eight, and 10. And take this up. Oh, no. No, no, no. I think it was the rails that was like, it was like one every three machines or something. And it was a fun thing where you mixed it in with the thing. But um, I don't think we need to do that anymore. Alas and alack. Okay, so this is going to be red and green circuits here. Go. So we're going to do this thing. Oops, red. Because this is a red belt. Remember that. Get 
this. We probably don't have red output at this point, but that's okay. We can we can fix it. Okay, red and green, and that one is done. Next thing, uh, we need we need furnaces. That is going to be let's see, three point four machines, and rails is going to be five machines. So technically, we could put them all in the same line here if we wanted to. But what do we need for furnaces? Let's find that out. We need three different kinds of things. Oh, look what we need. We need circuits. Okay, so that can actually go here. We can put another belt here on this side because we can share the circuit thingy. There we go. Let's see. We can get do something like this. Okay, grab in and in. Power pole there. Okay, that's fine. And then out. It's going to be on this side. Oh, I need... Oh, oh, robot range, help. Yeah. Okay, let's take this over here. And we'll add ourselves a power pole there. Nice. Okay. So these guys are going to be electric furnaces. And this belt is going to be connected to here. So can we go across there? Yes, we can. Very nice. Oopsies. Doing the wrong way there. Okay, perfect. Now we need how many machines? 3.4. So that's four machines of these to go there. Boom. Done. Easy peasy. Next thing. Uh, oh, well, huh. it would help if we got the stone bricks and the steel for this. I'm sure that the assembly would appreciate this. So here's the steel. Okay, this I, this I think is a this kind of thing usually. It doesn't really matter, but yeah. We'll do it that way anyway. So let's see. I think this is, yeah, with blue circuits are coming in there. These guys go here. Don't know if we need those, but it's fine. And then stone bricks are coming out there. And then two spaces. Remember where you have the splitter. Okay, nice. Okay, done. Those are done. Now then, we now need the other thing, which is rails. So rails. Rails are funny things. Where are they? Hello. Stone, steel plates, and iron sticks. So, let's see. How do we want to make this? We need... Oh, this is the one. Maybe this is the thing where we need the iron sticks. All right, we need two and a half machines for five thingy-majingies. So, yeah, we'll have a rail machine on either side of a stone uh, thingy-machine like this. Do we have enough space here? I hope we have enough space because this would be great if we had space. Okay. Um... This is the iron stick, and this is going to be making rails. Oh, this is nice. And here, we definitely need these inserters. Are we getting these? Yeah, we should be getting these. Come on, bots. Hello. Are you, are you, wait, are we not having those inserters in the mall? Oh, yeah, they're here. We have 101 of them, but there's some issue. Maybe it's... No, we have plenty of delivery robots. Where are you, bots? I really would like my inserters now. I have commanded you to bring them to me. They are here. Please give. There they are. There they are. Thank you. See? Just ask and you'll... Yeah. You will receive them. It's fine. All right. So let's go here. Now, the thing about the... These guys. Ah, there is a thing about these guys. That's right. You need 0.7 of a yellow belt. That's more than half. So what we want to do here is we probably want to upgrade this belt to red. That's going to be important because um, 0.7 is not enough for this many machines. So in that case, let's go ahead and upgrade this entire belt up there. And also we want to upgrade, uh, let's see, upgrade the yellow ones to blue. We'll go ahead and do that as well. Okay, we have a cat meowing at us. Beautifully. We love our cats. Okay, and that means we can add these inserters like this. And that will get us these guys. Now, how many machines do we need here? 
we need, I'm looking at the chart here, five of these rail makers. So let's see, these guys, this guy, and that guy, these are going to need stone and steel. And this, this is going to need some, some TLC here. That's what I think. So stone and steel, we want this to come up here. Do we need, we need 0.8 of a belt of this. So again, we're going to have to do fast belts. We have enough on each side of this. And then... I want to do something like this where we can get enough of the um, iron in on this one quickly. Yeah, sorry Cliffs, you had to go. We apologize for the inconvenience, but bye. Okay, this should be fine, right? Stone and steel. All right, I think this should work. I'm hoping it will. Is there a way I can cluster this to work? No, I cannot. Well, I could move this one up like that. That would work. Okay, that's fine. And then put the power pole there. Oh, nice. Sweet. I like having convenient power poles. This is great. Okay, four and five. And we'll just take off the extra one there because we don't need it. All right, very nice. And we can take this off. We don't need that either. Just place that there. Okay, boom, nice. Ah, but the only problem with this is the power poles are so efficient they no longer line up. So, or they no longer connect to each other. So what I'm going to do is put this one a tiny bit offset and that will connect everything up. Nice. Okay, so this should function fairly well. Are these making anything? Ah, we're out of red circuits. No, sad times. All right, well, let's get this going. Okay, that one is going to be iron, which is easy. And we'll just do a half a belt. We don't need more than that, I'm quite sure. And this one... This one is going to be steel and stone, I think. Yeah. Alright, let's go here. Here we have the stone, which is nice. And I think I'm going to get a thingy here. Go across. And this one goes also here. Let's get this guy there. It's a tiny bit weird. Wait, where's the steel? No, I forgot to steal somewhere. Hello? Oh, there is a steel. Oh, dear. Uh, okay. Let's redo this because this is going to be not so great. Okay, steel. This is going to happen here. Red. Get rid of that. It's not good. Oops, Q is what I wanted. There we go. Okay, now we can get this stuff going. So this is going to be our stone coming in from here. Just want a red upgrade for that. there and going across here to there perfect oh that's nice okay so that is happening hooray excellent oh it's all piling it on <gasps> no oh gosh ha <laughs> we have a tiny mistake here where yeah on the half of there we didn't get the stone because it was on the other half okay it's fine though but we can just vacuum it up with pressing uh f F to pick up stuff. There we go. And we are getting rails. Hooray. Oh, look at this. This is fantastic. And the belts are going in. Oh my gosh, things are happening. Are we going to get purple science soon? Hello. Oh, we're getting it. We're getting it. It's coming. It's going to come. It's going to come soon. We already have a ton of modules made, which is great. Uh, we are going to need more of those red circuits for the um, furnaces. But yeah, we need to just... Upgrade production of everything, I think. Okay, these are going. Are we going, going, going. Yay. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. <gasps> look, look, look. First purple science. Hooray. Ah, oh, this is great. Oh, and we got our chests. Hooray. Okay, so in celebration, 
of getting the logistics chests. Let's go ahead and put those down where they need to go. We're going to get those buffer chests made. And then we're going to replop them all. And um, yeah, things are going to happen. Things are going to be great. Oh, life is now better. We have all the sciences. We have power. We have things. We have stuff. We have everything. Uh, okay, so production, yes, is up there. Now then, we need... Let's see. We kind of snuck in some things anywhere that needed to be recycled. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on the mall blueprint. I'm going to put it a buffer chest. So these two things here... And we needed, let's see, here, this one and this one because assembly machines. And then the ones in the mall, all these mall ones need to be buffer chests. So I need more apparently. Let's make a couple more. We don't usually use a lot of buffer chests. So here we go. But we might get some in a different place here shortly. And then this one is a buffer chest. Okay. Oh, yay. Hooray. All right. Let's go ahead and replop them all. Go into our blueprints. And do our mid end game mall. And plop it. Plop. Yay. So, what, what the plopping does is it adds anything that we newly researched, which is great. But it also gives these guys the circuit conditions and also the request conditions. So this thing, what it's going to do, the difference between uh, a buffer chest and a storage chest is this. So if we get a storage chest, what you can do is do this in the interim. A couple of people suggest this, but the reason I don't like storage chests is a couple of things. So you can put a filter here, which means that the bots will um, put any stuff that is in of that type. Like if you make this a filter for these guys, the regular inserters, then the bots will put stuff in the chest, maybe. However, if there is any other inserters in these chests, um, they won't move because these are also storage chests. So whenever you deconstruct inserters, it might end up in this chest or in these chests. So that's not an ideal situation for this. However, the buffer chest, what it does, it requests stuff and it also allows stuff to be um, meted out like a passive provider. So I can ask for inserters and it'll give me them because they are in this buffer chest, but it will also request these from the network. So that's the really big difference between the uh, storage chest and the buffers is that they are actively requesting stuff from the network, whereas the storage aren't. Um, they will only take stuff from, um, you know, passive or not passive, but the, the purple ones, the active provider chest, or if you have stuff in their trash slots or from a train kind of thing. However, if you have stuff in any other storage chest, they might end up there instead. Oh, ooh, look at this. We're getting, um, we're getting requests. Oh, we put down requester chests. We're getting engines to build. What are we building over here? <gasps> are we building artilleries? No, that's no. This is a flamethrower. Never mind. No, this goes into whatever this is. I've forgotten what's there, but it's something cool. I'm quite sure. Uh, but anyway, so that's the difference between those two. They are an okay thing, but I'd rather have uh, buffers any day. Now the other thing that you can do with buffers is you can place them uh, at far locations. Like if we go down to our train station and we want to be resupplied quickly with stuff, for example, you can put a buffer chest down. The oh, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? This looks not ideal. Oh, we've run out of ore. No. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, train run dry. Let's, what's happening here with the ore? Hello? Oh, no! Our trains ran out of fuel! <laughs> oh, that's going to have to be a tomorrow problem, I think. But anyway, let's talk about these buffer chests real quick. What you can do is place them down and then say we want to request, say, I don't know, rails. Let's do like 500 rails and, I don't know, miners stuff that's and it'll be quicker for the bots to just come down here and deliver them because they might be hanging out here let's see where are our miners 
no not burner miners oh these guys i'm not used to the new icon yet so like 250 of these um and such and so forth you know you can add power poles whatever and all this stuff will be delivered to this chest and the the bots like hanging out in here are there any bots in here yeah there's a, there's well there's construction bots if there are logi bots in here they can just jump out and then quickly supply it to you so they can be used for that kind of thing or for construction in in farther areas but anyway we're going to fix this train fuel problem in the next episode if you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.